Ever wanted to change what your keyboard keys do? Whether it's turning caps lock into escape or creating your own custom layout, VIA makes it easy. In this video, I'll show you what VIA is, how to access it, and how to remap your basic keys step by step. Let's get into it. VIA, short for Viable Interrupt Alternative, is an open source tool that lets you customize your mechanical keyboard without reflashing the firmware. It's designed to work with a wide range of keyboards and makes complex customization super beginner friendly. With VIA, you can remap keys, add layers, set up macros, and even change lighting, all with a live preview of your layout. In this video, we'll focus on how to remap your basic keys. I'll cover layers, macros, and lighting in the next video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Before we dive in, make sure your keyboard is VIA compatible. Most custom keyboards support it, but you can check either on the product specs or on the official VIA website under supported keyboards. And to get started with remapping keys, click try now, which will launch the online software for remapping your keys. To connect your device, click authorize device. A pop-up will show your connected devices to link to VIA. Here we'll be using the QK65 as an example. Most of the time, VIA will automatically detect your keyboard layout. However, if you don't see it listed in the drop-down menu, that means the keyboard was not detected. In some cases, you might need to upload a JSON from your keyboard's manufacturer or check to see if the connection is working. Now let's connect our keyboard. Once connected, you'll see the main interface with your keyboard's layout on the screen. At the top of the VIA interface, you'll see three tabs, Configure, Key Tester, and Settings. Configure is where you'll be spending most of your time. Here, you can remap keys, set layers, create macros, change lightings, and save and load configurations. Tester lets you test and confirm that your key maps are working. When you press a key, it lights up the software. For example, I'll press the A. And you'll see that the A is now highlighted, indicating that it has been tested and working. Settings is for extras, like layout previews and enabling dark mode. Let's go through how to remap a basic key. Head back to the configure tab and click on a key you want to change. Let's use caps lock as an example. We'll click caps lock and say we want to change it to left control. We'll find left control in this basic tab. Click it. We'll now see that caps lock has been changed to left control. We can test that out again by heading over to the key tester tab, clicking test matrix. We'll now notice that it has been changed to left control, pressing that key and seeing that it has been tested out. And that's it, one of your keys has now been remapped from caps lock to left control. VIA changes your settings automatically so there's no need to hit save. You could also remap other keys like your alphas or number keys to fit your personal needs. Let's do another example. If I wanted to change my A to an S, I can also do that as well. So click on the A, and once it's been selected, I can change it to S. And now you have two S's on your keyboard. However, this is not a realistic situation since you'll actually be using an A, but this is just for educational purposes. Now that we changed our A to an S, now that when I click the A key, it'll be outputting the S. And when I press S, it's still S, since we did no changes. To do a final check to make sure everything's working, head back to the key tester tab, and when you click your remapped keys, it should highlight on the screen to show the new functions are active. And that's how you remap your basic keys using VIA. Simple, right? I'll show you how to remap macros, set up layers, and customize lighting in the next video. If you found this helpful, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.